right, so let me, let's start again. Hey, guys. Hey, YouTube, because this is where we're going to clip it from. <laughs> we are we're going to do our prediction contest like we do on major pay-per-views. This weekend, we have a special treat. Is you know We were just talking about Impact for some reason. So we're going to Im- predict Bound for Glory on Saturday night as well as Hell in a Cell on Sunday night. Uh, we're going to do a prediction contest where the loser has to do a punishment. Our punishment is called the Chubby Bunny or Chubby Bunny or... I don't know what it's called. You're just going to have to, like, squirrel up some marshmallows in your cheeks and try to do the show that way. Like I, I said, guess. I may lose on purpose just so I can do <laughs> That's it. That's what he said. <laughs> I don't think it's on purpose. Well, cause the, but... well the, the challenge, okay, so to give a little bit of context, it's been a little while since we actually did a punishment. Uh, the last mm-hmm. punishment we did was a spoonful of cinnamon. And so with this challenge, it's not so much about, like, the punishment is not so much what you're consuming because obviously everyone loves marshmallows but it's the fact that you uh we were discussing this and we've decided that we're gonna have them have the marshmallows in their mouth for i believe i've said it for the duration of the one thing segment next week so that uh, was yeah, the idea gonna, that i had chip monks and marshmallows. you have to it's try to talk off. with your mouth full basically uh, again, we're gonna I, may, all, I, may, all, I may win we'll... this just so i can prove that i can do it and do it good <laughs> yeah, because I mean, all three all right. of us. Well, actually, no. Me and me and Chris I got the biggest known. mouth, so I, I think I yeah, can do I, it. I, I, sound, I probably part. sound much and, better. And I've only won. I've only won the predictions challenges when, when it there didn't was matter. no punishment. Yeah. <laughs> he won it when it didn't matter. <laughs> all right. So here, let me set the stage for you. There are, I think, eight matches for Impact, and then another four that have so far been announced for Hell in a Cell. So we're gonna do twelve, I think. Yep. All right. Um. So we'll do what we always do. I'll run down the matches, uh, what we know about them. In, in the case of Impact, we know very little about them. <laughs> we're just go- yeah. we don't watch Impact, so I thought that would be hilarious. But Impact nonetheless, is, we're, we're, um, we're crazy. To, uh, and it's not because I don't okay, like wrestling fine. or like Impact. There's only so much time for wrestling in a week, and, and AEW and WWE are more yeah, important. It, impact is going to be so hard. But hey, find. you know, if you're out there and you're watching Impact, you're a fan of Impact. I love Impact. I do. I just don't have time for it. Yeah. Um... Chris, right. to interrupt yes. you just a little bit, for what it's worth, I do have the Impact Wrestling website up. So if you want context for each match, I can give you some context. Nah, that takes no? away the... Okay. Okay. No context. Uh, We're going in blind. Takes away the... Perfect. Before we get started, what type of what type of marshmallows? Uh, big <laughs> jump marshmallows? That's the most important little... thing. Campfire uh, marshmallows. Campfire find marshmallows. Yeah, campfire oh, mar- okay. camp marshmallows. If That's not fine. the jumbo ones. You That's the most remember. important thing yeah. about this is what kind of marshmallows you need. Got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, right. even if okay. I if I lose, right, I... I'm gonna I'm gonna start from here. We're gonna do the TNA World Championship match, not the Impact, the TNA, which is the TNA champion Moose. Apparently, the TNA World Championship was split in two at some point, and Moose has been calling himself the TNA champion. Um. Is facing off against EC3, and EC3 just re- recently turned to the company. Yeah, um, shaved head and everything, I think. So yeah, Moose versus EC3 with his his mustache and goatee. Uh, James, who you got? Moose. Moose. All I right. Think, We're I, gonna I run through these tonight because we don't have any context. <laughs> I well, just just on my thought alone, EC3 is just coming in, mm-hmm. and I don't think you would you would. Do you want to job out the guy who's been he's been established star there just for the newest guy and everything? That's not just not for the first match. And everything. Right. So I say Moose. All right, uh, Alex. Uh, I'm going to. I I I don't want to disagree with what what James is saying, but I kind of have to for the sake of my pick because I'm picking EC3. Okay. I'm picking EC3 as well. If he's making a return to the company, I can't see him losing. Um, the only thing I do want to add to that um, is not context for the pay-per-view itself. Uh, apparently, EC3 is also like showing up in Ring of Honor, which is more a testament to the current state of Impact, allowing for more like interaction with indie and like other wrestling promotions. Um, Impact's like, always so been. Than, well, they've, they've been always, up and down. They've, 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 been, never they've had, always been more. They haven't had contracts for years. They've had you know dates and stuff. Yeah, but I mean yeah. like. There was an almost infamous thing years and years ago, near the early days of TNA, where there was they were specifically taken away from indie dates and stuff. So this is like a this is them kind of going back around 
to, to, to that. But yeah. So anyway, so yeah. Right. So that's that. Yeah, that was my note on that. All one. right. So next match then will be Eddie Edwards versus Hall Impact Hall of Famer Ken Shamrock versus with Sammy Callahan as Zaid. Uh, Impact is inducting Ken Shamrock into the Hall of Fame. So that's what's happening. Uh, Alex, you're up. So here's the thing. This is the, and I know I know we were base we're basically going in blind, but I know one thing about this, and that there's like beef between Ken and Sammy. So I think this is being set up to like have Sammy uh, go go out on, go all out on friggin uh, mm -hmm. Ken. That said, I think I think Sammy's gonna help Ken win and then do whatever it is he's going to do after the match. So I, I'm actually going to go with Shamrock, oddly enough. And in, in the year of our Lord 2020, I think Ken Shamrock's going to, to win a match in, <laughs> in Impact. Uh, I, I agree. I was going to pick Ken Shamrock as well. I don't know anything about the feud, but I assume since they're inducting him to the Hall of Fame, they're going to put, put him over because that's the like TNA thing to do. Uh, James. Eddie Edwards. Okay. Eddie Edwards, all right. All right, next match is the Call Your Shot Gauntlet match where the winner gets to get something. I don't know what that something is, but we do know that if Reiner or Heath Slater wins, uh, Heath Slater earns an impact contract because apparently he's a free agent because that's all he does, <laughs> no matter what company he's in. Uh, but if neither of them win, Rhino loses his job. Uh, and I get to go first. And I'm actually... So here are the participants that we have announced. It's AC Romero, Alicia Edwards, Cody Diener, Brian Miners, uh, Havoc, Heath Slater, or Corey just Heath Diener's now. He's not Slater. Uh, Hernandez, Larry D, Rhino, Tara Valkyrie, Tennille Dashwood, Tommy Dreamer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Tommy Dreamer is wrestling still? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tommy Dreamer is wrestling still. Also, Tommy this Dreamer match is intergender because Tennille Dashwood, Tyra Valkyrie, and I guess Alicia and Edwards Havoc. probably all. I, I did want to make yeah. a note. If you, Wait, Havoc uh, is if there? You, if you're familiar with the wrestler named Jessica Havoc, that's who Havoc is in, in Impact. Oh, I was thinking Son of Havoc. Nope. <laughs> to be no, that's Havoc. Yeah, it's, no, that's, that's just Okay, that's, that's I thought Jessica it was the person who so, yeah. played Son of Havoc. And no, Jessica this is very Havoc, much yeah, an intergender just... gauntlet match. Which is it's not, yeah, even, the okay. only, it's not Diener, even the only it's not even the only intergender match in on the card either. So yeah, I know it's not. Um, I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick Heath because that seems like what they're doing. Uh, yeah, uh, Heath. Yeah, I mean, it, it. Honest with you, why why do this unless you have Heath win? I mean, unless you let, oh, don't want him to be in there. I mean, but yeah, right. Corey Diener is still around. Cody Diener. Cody Diener. That this 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 is the dude that won the uh, the women's title. Am I if I'm not mistaken? I have. Uh, I, th I think you might yeah, be right, but I don't I know, remember when I, that was. No, I know I know TNA, and he actually was the first ever male women's champion, knockouts champion. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, Alex, who are you picking? Um, I wish I had my binoculars on me because I could see the result of this match coming from miles away. I also am picking Heath. All right. Well, at least if we're wrong, no one lose, no one gains anything. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, the next match is the Impact X Division Championship match. Oh boy! It is the champion Rohit Raju. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I do apologize. Versus Chris Bay versus Trey versus TJP versus Willie Mack versus Jordan Grace. Yeah. James, you're up. I'm going with my boy Willie Mack. Willie Mack. All right. <laughs> I I know Willie. Mac, I know Willie from Lucha Underground. So go Willie Mack. Okay. Alex. Okay. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time to, before I get to my pick. Uh, part of me wishes I could easily just pick Willie Mack, and the reason for that is because I saw Willie Mack at my very first uh, live wrestling show back in 2010. Uh, mm -hmm. and he has been he has been X Division champion before. So it would make a lot of sense if he ends up winning the title back in this manner. However, Jordan Grace, whom I'm currently a Patreon supporter of, is in this match. So my heart's going to go with Jordan Grace to win the X Division Championship. Because if Tessa Blanchard can be the world champion of Impact, 
Jordan Grace can be the X Division champion. I'm just saying. Fair. Um, I don't know any of these people except for TJP, so I'm going to pick the champion to retain Rohit Raju. <laughs> uh, Rohit Raju is that's an- is he is is he is he like related to like Sanjay Dutt or something? I, um, or he's like one from I Indian. I don't know. I've never heard I of do him. Do not know. Hmm. I'll probably put a thing in yeah, the post to, to confirm or deny what we're discussing. Mm. Yeah. I- but I have no, no idea. idea as it All is. right, so let's let's go up to the next one. Um, then, then I get that. So the Impact World Tag Team Championship match it is the Motor City Machine Guns because they're back together. The Good oh, Brothers. Uh, I love Motor Doc City. Doc Gallows and, and Machine Gun Carl Anderson. So there's two Machine Guns in this match. Three actually. Uh, the team of Mad Men Fulton and Ace Austin, and then the team called the North. I have no idea who they are. North former uh, former. Um... TNA Tag Team Champions. Uh, oh, sure. Many consider them. Oh, oh. That's okay. Um, yeah. The North. That's see that'll be the that that's about as much context as I will give for this match. Uh, so the North are Ethan Page and Josh Alexander. Mm-hmm. I don't know who the North is. I don't know who they are. Um, I do. Who are you picking though? <laughs> uh, well, you picking? that's that's a toughie because my heart wants me to go with the Good Brothers to to win this. But my brain is telling me that similar to similar with Ken Shamrock, uh, in the year of our Lord 2020, I think the Motor City Machine Guns are going to retain the championships. Are they being added to the Hall of Fame too? Uh, no, Shamrock. but they, or at least not yet. So I don't know. It okay. it just seems like the it just seems like an impact well, thing to do. Then I'll then I'll tell you what I'll do. What you're too scared to do, and I will pick the Good Brothers. <laughs> uh, the Good Brothers, Doc Gallows and, and Carl Anderson, Machine Gun Carl Anderson will go ahead and take the titles. James, I like the North. I thought I think they're I think they're they're up there was one of the better tag teams in the in the in the world actually, not the Young Bucks. But no, never uh, books. Uh, Motor City. Still, I have to go with my heart here, and I love the Motor City Machine Guns. One of my favorite tag teams of all time, and I right. th- I gotta go with them to right. retain. Yeah, yeah, I love the Motor City Machine Guns. So I just all right, great, all right. Uh, so so the next match on the card, your penultimate match, perhaps. It is the Impact Knockouts Championship with Deanna Perazzo defending her title against Kylie Ray. Um, I don't know who I go first. I don't know who Kylie Ray is. I I know Deanna Peraza was in NXT for a while and was criminally yeah. underused. Uh, I'm gonna pick her to retain. James, Kylie Ray wasn't she? Wasn't she? Was she? She supposed to be like the uh, version of Bailey in AEW at the time, or was she in AEW? Yeah, she was signed. Yeah. And then... Yeah. They, they yeah, came, she was they came to like an, their version of And Bailey. then they came to an agreement, uh, I think, shortly after Double or Nothing. And she was released yeah. from that contract and then signed with Impact. And it's oh, never yeah. been very clear why why that happened. But, I mean... we Oh, anyways. <laughs> um, Who are you picking? I, 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 Parazzi. I like Parazzi. I th- it's sad that they had to release. I thought Farazi had all the makings of being a, a star in the E. She was. I think she had. She yeah, just had, I, just had I thought so too. Like she, she was, looked great. I thought she could work. She looked fantastic, and she just had she to stick with her. They didn't, just, they didn't get a chance to stick with her, and, and I think it's it's a criminally. Yeah, she's criminally underused. I think. I think she stay, retains the title. I, yeah, I think Sonya Deville sort of took her spot. Yeah. But, yeah. I think Sonya Deville took her like spot. The, and it's like the MMA badass. Then they didn't really do anything with her. Alex, who are you picking? Well, since you guys are going with the champion to retain, uh, I'm going to pour my heart out a little bit here and pick Kylie Ray to, to win. Because um, I think they've, like, I know enough that they've been trying to build this thing up about her actually, like, earning her shot at the title and everything. Um, Deanna had some really good, she's had, like, one or two really good matches in particular with Jordan Grace for the Knockouts title. Um, and also, uh, actually, no, that's, about it. yeah, no, so I'm going with Kylie Ray. Yeah. Okay. All right. And the last match on the card is 
the Impact World Championship match is the champion Eric Young, good old EI, EY, <laughs> uh, defending his Impact World Championship, not the TNA World Championship that Moose is apparently defending, the Impact World Championship uh, versus Rich Swan, who oh, I that's guess a blast is from the, past. the baby face, or maybe he's the heel, I don't know. Uh, James, you're up first. How, I mean, if I can know who is the babyface or the heel. I think it's Rich Swan is supposed to be the babyface. I think, I think he's the babyface. Yeah, Rich, Rich Swan is the babyface. Uh, well, no, I don't even I don't you know even what? watch Impact to, to answer Brian's uh, comment there. I don't watch it. I just know the storylines because I read yeah. up on the dirt sheets. Yeah. Um, so Eric Young is serious. Is he serious Eric Young now? I mean, he's, he's, he's doing the serious Eric Young. I you know, think he, yeah, yeah, I think he's reversed he whatever his leak. Well, he was, yeah, before he became, before he, became, uh, when he left, before he left to the E, and then before he left, uh, yeah, he, he, was, he was not the goofy serious. host of a fishing show, if that's what you're asking. No, yeah. no, he's he's yeah, serious. Yeah. He'll, Eric Speak Young, the, he's so got on, a chip um, on his shoulder after. Uh, how long has this feud been going on? Uh, give him a couple months at least, yes. I think. Pretty. Because they Rich got signed, because he signed back to Impact back in, like, April. I mean, it can't have been that long, because EY got released in April with the uh, Yeah, no, he came back in, like, April or May. So. I, I, I say, I go maybe for or, Rich Swan. No, I'm sorry, the biggest, July. Right, I'm glorious their version of WrestleMania, so it's, it's, it was always TNA's version of WrestleMania, so. Well, it's Slammiversary, actually, but. No, it was, Bound bon for Goalie was their, Wrestle, was their biggest show of the year. Was, was I don't bon know. Glory. Anyway, yeah. you're picking yes. Rich Swan. I cool. pitch Rich one. I'll take the face on this. Okay. One. Yeah. No, I just remembered. Yeah, he 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 showed back up in in July at Slammiversary. That's what it was because that's when a, a few of them showed back up around the same time. Um, but yeah, I'm actually gonna go with Young to retain. So. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna pick Eric Young to retain. I don't think Rich one is that. I don't know anything about Rich one anymore other than he got fired from the WWE a couple of years ago. Uh, was it was okay. it Big Swole's fault? No, nope. I don't know. Who cares? Was he dating Big nope. Swole at the time? Or was he married to Big Swole? Who was he married uh, to? Too young. Too well, young. I, I, oh, I'm, was... I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna get in, into that right now. We're not gonna get into no, that. Was, all right. No, you're fault. Fault. no, no that, that's our impact. That's our impact that's predictions. That's that that's, that's all the impact we're talking about on this show for a while. Yeah. <laughs> no more. All right.